I mean, how dare you to call yourself a professional ghost hunter? The only thing you're a professional at is a professional faker, a professional liar, a professional scammer. Most of all, a professional just giant sack of sh Well, how do you do to YouTube? How's everybody out there in YouTube land doing? If you don't know who I am, my name is Bayou. I'm the owner, founder, and lead investigator of BA Paranormal and Research. I've been a professional paranormal investigator for almost 15 years now. I'm also a retired bounty hunter and repo man, and before that I used to work for the government doing some, well, we can't talk about that until the year 2032. So you should subscribe, because in nine years, roughly, I'm letting the fucking cat out of the bag. Anywho, today... We're looking at another Brad. Dude's name's not Brad. I just literally cannot help myself but to want to call this dude Brad. Okay? Some dude named Chris. It's one of CJ's friends. But what really got me was I went and just looked at his page. And on the very top line, it says that this numbnut is, ooh, excuse me, a professional ghost hunter. You're not a professional anything. You're a professional liar, professional faker. Other than that, just a sack of shit. Anywho, let's get to this crap. This dude's one of CJ Faison's numbnut friends. So we're just going to try to get through it. Let's, let's just do it. By the way, I'm just going to say it. Name of this video has something to do with uh, my friend slept in a coffin and changed his life forever. So let's see how much bullshit this really is. First clip. I had my camera with me. I would jump out and see if we could do a little investigation out here. Um, just kind of walking around right now. And yeah, um, John's actually sitting over there too. John just got here. Um, he's already had some weird stuff happen through the spirit box. It's yeah, just, It listens to you, 100% listens to you. We were talking earlier about, um, I was like, man, I really don't want to film tonight because CJ and Dylan aren't here. And it, it said, are you scared? And that was kind of the premises of the conversation. It, it asked if I was uh, scared. So I was like, I guess I got to stop being a chicken and, and just face up to, to my nerves and do some investigating. So here we are. How dare you call this an investigation? You wouldn't know what a fucking investigation if somebody slapped you upside your dumb ass head with it. Professional. I swear to God. If you're such a professional, how come my professional ass has never heard of you until while well, I watch your crap? investigate moron next clip so i think you want to tell me while i'm in here now's your time i'm in the house all alone very vulnerable who's in here with me tonight can you tell me that what's your name My name's Chris. I like to call myself a caretaker of this property. I like to keep the place looking nice for everybody who resides here. The door's closed, but the cricket's so loud. I wonder if it's in the house. Could you make a noise for me? Bang on a wall or something? Let me know you're here. Whoever just did that, that was cool. I don't know where that came from, but. There was nothing there. There was nothing there other than the dude shaking the fucking camera. Ooh! That's not scary. Nor is it real. There was absolutely nothing there. And I want to get into this real quick. He's using the Spirit Talker app. Let's talk about that. Um. I had a conversation with the Spirit Talker app inventor. And yeah, dude, I kind of get what you're saying now. All these numbnuts are using your app and really doing it in a really fucking fake way. Even though I think your app's really fake because you refuse to explain how it works. But I kind of get why you're so paranoid now. Because, well, 
You have people like this that are using your crap wrong, I think. Anyway, other than that, there is nothing there but numbnuts shaking the camera because, well, there's nothing there. <sighs> Professional. Professional sack of shit. Next clip. Military. Military. Okay. So am I talking to Sebastian still? Sebastian said he was 18. Said he was here when he was 18, I guess. There's a military doll up there. I don't know if that means anything, but... Right. So let me ask a question. How come all of a sudden you can decide that something coming out of that app that you're calling a spirit box, it is not a fucking spirit box. Um, so how do you determine what's relevant? So this one word military isn't relevant right now, but Susie, that's fucking relevant. Yeah, fake app. And they call it the spirit box the whole time. This is a bullshit app. It ain't a fucking spirit box. I'm just going to let you know right now. These are the type of things are the reason why I'm doing this. This pisses me off. This makes every real investigator that literally dedicates their life to this shit. This makes them look fake. It makes us all look fake and look horrible. And we're not fake at all. Again, okay, so how, how can you discern whether or not something's relevant or not? Next clip. I don't remember a lot of things, guys, so don't don't take it all serious. It might just be my bad memory or something, but what the fuck was that? All right, I guess you guys want me out of here. I'm going to go. That's all I needed to hear. You shuffling your fucking feet. All that was was you shuffling your feet. So there's two things here. Either, well, you're a liar, which we already know that's true. Or you're scared of your own feet. Because that was you that shuffled. Next clip. I'm going to use the ghost tube right now, see if we get any uh, spirit figures on the camera. You guys know this app with the little stick figure guys. So I'll throw that up on the screen for everybody. That's my camera focuses. Pretty sure I just seen that tree branch right there. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and just say that it was looking at the tree branch, so. If somebody walks in front of me right now, I could absolutely see you with my camera. That's a tree. See, I want to believe this app, but. Okay, so this is interesting. You're using an app called Spirit Talker, which, again, 100% bullshit because the fucking inventor of it can't or won't explain to me how that works. Bullshit. So then you go to another app, goes to completely fake, and then you call it fake because you can't get it to work on your phone because you're not getting nothing. So one app's real and one app's fake. How does that make any fucking sense? Oh my God. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> This dude, just like all the rest of these these fakers, they think you're stupid. They think you're an idiot. Next clip. Before we start this, I'm gonna do something that I think would be kind of cool. I don't know if this will actually work, but I figure if we bring this candle over here, okay? We light the candle. Maybe it'll give the spirits energy to like want to play the piano, right? Come on. Do you believe in the theory of like the energy, the candles giving them energy? I do. I do. I mean. I we don't know much like about it and all, but I definitely think that it helps. Doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, can't hurt. Plus, it gives us a little bit of light in here. That's that's also true. Good point. Oh, I might even light the candle. Sorry, I'm focusing. On How in the fuck does a candle give anything any kind of energy? Somebody, please, in the comments below, explain that one. 
I've been doing this for a lot of years. And how does a fucking candle do anything? Now, I can understand like a light, a light bulb, because they can draw energy from stuff. But a candle? There's no energy in a candle. Next clip. That's all that's all I gotta say right now is next clip. I just locked my phone on accident. There's somebody coming up the stairs? Could you make a noise for us? It'd be really cool. It sounded like, like someone was like walking. I don't, I don't actually know what it was, but. Oh man. It's really hard to crouch down. I'm getting old. My knees hurt. Hmm. <laughs> the f was that? Hello? First off, there was nothing there. Second, y'all kicked the stairs and then tried to make that evidence. And then when you watch this shit back during editing, you realize that people can tell that you kicked it. So you had to put some fucking writing down there. Huh? Like, damn, you think everybody that watches your shit is a moron, huh? When in reality, you are. Because, wow, dude, this... Next clip. Are you walking around downstairs in the piano room? Thank you for respect. You're welcome. <laughs> it just like something in here. That was crazy. You're welcome. Thank Holy you for communicating with us. I don't know what that noise was. That was so weird. It sounded like a footstep, like shuffle, like, right? Again, with the feet shuffling. Like, what are you so scared of? Are you scared of your own feet shuffling? Really? Because that's all that was there was your foot. Twice now. This is just, all right, let's just get through it. Let's get through it. Next clip. That's so weird, dude. It's been on the whole time. So strange. Very strange, dude. Oh, what the fuck was that, dude? Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Like, what the fuck was that? I think that was downstairs. Yeah, oh, I can't. Yo, hold on, I'm coming. What the f was that noise? Sorry guys, focus. I don't even know my camera was recording the whole time. What was that? Oh, I think I just kicked it. Did you move these dolls? I didn't move nothing. This dolls on the f***ing ground. Is that what we heard? Maybe, I don't know. Like, I think it was too loud to hear. So, you guys put those those dolls on the ground before you walked out. There was absolutely no noise other than y'all's fucking feet shuffling because that's the best you got. Um, and then you... And mysteriously, your camera can't focus and stops recording and all this crazy weird shit. It's absolutely... I mean, it's absolutely moronic. I'm... I'm Next clip. <sighs> Do it. This is terrifying, dude. Bye, Don. Mommy. <laughs> he said, Mommy. It just said I want you out. Hang on, say that for a minute. One minute, Don. It just said I want you out. Well, you can't listen to it. What happens if I don't get out of here? I'll get you out. Dead or alive. Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. What's it going to do? I'm probably a bad friend for this, but Dylan wanted to get in there, so I'll figure we close it up for him. We don't give him what he wants. Has anything uh, changed in Dylan's life now that he's laid in this coffin? Is he in danger? Is he subject to premature death? I don't think it's a bad omen. Didn't you lay... No, you weren't there for Greenville. 
CJ laid in the coffin one time. He did. Yeah, you added that video. I did. True. Like we're good. <laughs> That's a good point. Let us know how you feel about Dylan being in this coffin. Make some noises. Some bangs. Slam a door. I can't believe he did it. I cannot believe he did it. That's crazy. It creeps me out. It also creeps me out that my spirit talker hasn't really said anything in a while. He's been in there for a little bit. Was that you? The fuck was that? It's something on the side of <laughs> I picked that up perfectly. Fine. Said boy. Is there a little boy out here playing around? Oh my god, T just scared the shit out of Wait, me. Wait, how did both sides open? We have power. Clearly, if they're making noises like that. So that was that was the experience that changed your life forever? You laid in a display coffin. And you know how it's a, how I know it's a display coffin because there isn't any padding on the inside of it. It just made to look like it. It's a display coffin. You laid in a display coffin, and nothing happened other than you hitting the side of the fucking coffin. And you want to call that changing your life forever? Wow. Oh, please be the last clip. Please, just please. Next clip. We're talking about these like reflections or something? I don't know. Anybody outside or anything? Can't really see anything. Oh my god, dude! What the fuck is that? Camera will focus. No way, dude. What the f how the hell would that even happen? Dude, get the f out of here. There's no way. There can't be anybody out here, right? Like, John's right there. Where is he? He's right down here, I think. You would have seen it if he left. Sorry, guys, my camera is struggling right now. Absolutely nothing there other than, well, a complete moron unfocusing his camera. Oh, my God. Okay, Let, let's get to, to this here, okay? First and foremost, this is C.J. Faison's haunted farm. It's not a haunted farm. I'll make you a deal. C.J., C.J., um, you want to prove me wrong? I mean, come on, YouTube Brad, you want to prove me wrong? Invite me to, to come and investigate that, that farm by myself. I guarantee you won't let me because I'm not going to find anything. This is the exact reason why I started doing this. Because, well, this makes me look bad. They are pretty much making fun of all real paranormal investigators. And in turn, making us all look horrible. It makes us all look like we do shit like this. And we don't. We don't do shit like this. This is ridiculous. This isn't even entertaining. So all the people, it's just entertainment. No, it's not. This isn't entertaining. So you get entertained by being bold-faced lied to by some moron? Good for you, I guess. <sighs> when is it going to end? Guess what? It's never going to end. I have videos for years because they have more and more and more of this. So you guys want to continue to make fake videos and make fun of real investigators like me and a hundred more people? Really more than that. I guess I get to make fun of you and your stupid video. Because this was stupid. 
This was the dumbest thing I ever saw. This dude thinks that you guys are morons. CJ and all these people that fake these videos like this, they think you're a moron. They think you're stupid. They think we're dumb. Well, I'm not fucking dumb. Neither are you. It's ridiculous. Shit like this should not really be allowed. Because in a technical sense, these people are making fun of an entire group of people. Making us all look really horrible. So, yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, all right, I'm get I'm I got to go. I got to go take care of this headache that CJ's numb nut friend Brad. His real name's Chris, but I just want to call him Brad. Anyway, make sure you like, share and subscribe, especially if you want to know the truth. Do you want to know who's fake and who's not? Who's full of shit and scamming you? Make sure you subscribe. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. If if you didn't like this video, not my fucking problem. Bye. I'm sick of being normal. I'm sick of being average. I'm sick of being mortal. I'm about to be a savage. I see a lot of things.